I've got some mail. Let's see what I've got this time. You might want some of these. I don't know, maybe you will. Okay. That is it. This is a chip for a remote control for a Toyota car, actually. So it's like the proximity chip for the security system. The car will need to be programmed for this chip. Now this is supposed to go inside one of the keys. It's a bit like this one, but somehow. So it's basically an RFID device. And it's got some numbers on there. I don't know, it's a couple of dollars or something like that. It's not, they're not very expensive at all. Ah, right. It is a surge protection device. So you stick this on the main circuit breaker box, whatever you want to call it. This goes across Nive and Neutral, and also Earth as well, and it's surge protection. So these will actually protect your uh, entire electrical system from surges. And these are like plug-in modules. As you can see, you've got these connections there. So if they do blow, you can replace the module itself without having to do any rewiring or do the whole unit. These are both protected across Nive and Neutral and to Earth, obviously. What stats have you got in here? Current max, 20 kiliamps. Uh, kiliamps. 20 kiloamps, line neutral, 10 kiloamps, UPUC, upper voltage, 1.6 kilovolts. I'm not sure what these are. I'm not an expert on these things. Maybe someone can give some advice on these. Chuck some comments down below or something. But um, yeah, it's basically, basically protected against over voltage. So I'm thinking about 395 volts it will, it will trip over, start to conduct. So these, I believe anyway, generally they won't completely blow. If it's a small surge, it will just shunt the surge to ground, to earth. When we call it, and if it's a bigger surge, it will actually blow these out. That's when they got this red replace thing. You have to replace the module and plug a new one in. So I've got one of these to go. Well, we get a lot of surges and things like that where I live. I've got space on my board. I might get this put in there. Try and give some surge protection. I've already got like PowerPoint surge protection. You know, standard stuff you plug in, like you plug boards and things like that. So I've got surge protectors, especially in this room where my lab is. I've got lots of surge protection here. But I think well, if I stick something on the main board, it's going to protect hopefully the whole house because they have to be right by the main um, input going into the board to try and shunt any surges to earth before it gets into the rest of the electrical system. So it's a bit of a better way of doing it. That's the plan anyway. Yeah. So we've got some desoldering braid. What size is this one? 1.5 meters, 2 mil diameter. So I didn't have a lot of braid left. I think it gets me, you can actually fit a lot more braid on these spools, but I don't do it. So I thought I'd get some more anyway. I've, I've been using a bit of doing MacBook stuff and other bits and pieces. So I thought I'd get some finer stuff. This is 2 mil. What else have we got here? I've got ones already here. The 0.19 inches wide, whatever that is. So that will be five mil or something. Also got this other one here, which is three mil. So this new one here is like the narrowest one I've got, which is good for doing lots of fine work because sometimes the other stuff's just too big. So don't forget a bit of links down below for these items. So make sure you go and check those out. Or if you're in, in the market for buying anything, go and check them out anyway. A bag inside a bag. Uh, all right, what's in here? Again, round two. Trying to hack my way through bubble wrap. So these are just um, solder balls. Can get them out of the bag. Come on. All right, so you've got 0.3 and 0.35 mil solder balls. These are for doing like reballing of BGA chips and stuff like that. I don't know how many balls are actually in there. Anyone want to count them? I'll freeze frame it. Here you go. Let me know. Any guesses in the comments? So I think it's for a Mighty Ape. Hmm. Fifth and pull tab. Yeah, I suppose that kind of works, doesn't it? So this is Better Call Saul, Season 2. So I've already watched Season 1. Oh, should it be that way around? I've watched Season 1 and actually quite enjoyed it. It's, it's actually quite interesting. So I thought we'd get Season 2. Yeah, so we'll see how we go from there. Should be interesting to watch. Obviously got El Camino has come out recently. Probably end up getting that. I don't, I don't know. And we have another one. We feel ripped off by me not using my round knife. Oh... Oh, the tab has let us down. Round knife it is. Oh, fluffy. <laughs> right, and it's season three. Better call Saul. Here we go. Season four, I haven't purchased yet. It'll be coming one day. I'll let you know how these go, maybe. Comments down below if you've got an opinion about these. No spoilers, please. Let's have a look in here. interesting so you've got an iphone 6s plus battery which i had ordered some time ago it actually got returned back to the seller originally and um anyway it, they had to send it again something you'll bounce back because that's some issue dressing issue or something 
the dress wasn't printed properly or something like that anyway so at least it got here in the end so it's an iPhone 6s plus battery now I did actually already have a screen over here for success or 6s plus I've got a screen there so what's this just a toolkit Soldiers are like an actual standalone toolkit. That's pretty. That's the first time I've seen one. Though. You see all these little bags with bits and pieces in it. So we've got some adhesive strips for putting the battery in. Typical suction cup thing. Hmm, okay. Interesting. It's actually in a box as a saleable item. That's quite cool. Actually. See what I actually quite like is these screwdrivers. They look quite good on the picture. And actually, that's not bad. That's not a bad screwdriver. Same, that's built, that spins nicely. So it's a 1.5mm positive and a 0.8mm star or um, pentalobe, whatever you want to call it. All right. So, yeah, okay. That's so, alright. Obviously, a pair of tweezers and stuff in there too. That's a nice little set. That's... Tweezers are probably rubbish, but we'll see. Get us some basic thin steel but they might be used all right, for something I suppose. Cool, so what's you got the little spudger as well. These little spudgers aren't bad actually. They tend to get cut up though. Um, but that's why these things are kind of disposable. You just use them you know a few times and you chuck them out. But yeah that's the first I've seen them come in a little box. That's um, pretty cool. Well, the box showed three screwdrivers. Hmm is it depending on the model, is it? I guess it does. That's a sticker, so they'll probably change it for which one they need it for. Options are 0 0.6, 1.5, a uh, 0.6 um, trilobe. Trilobe? Oh, I think it's trilobe, is it? Um, yeah, so it's obviously different kits for different things, I'm guessing. It's like the other one doesn't come with this particular one. But it does show it, it's not in the kit. Curious, I have to watch out for that. Maybe it doesn't need it or not. Hmm, anyway, so that's right, I suppose. A tri ring, that's what it's called, tri ring. The, uh, that would have been nice if it was in the kit, actually. Hmm, anyway, I don't know if it, know if it needs it. It probably doesn't, so. Yep, battery, so look at this. Let's see what we've got to deal with. Nice packaging, that's all information, thank you card thing, warranty stuff, so this screams to me of a quality device, right? A quality battery, it's a base us, same as this thing, right? Obviously. Uh, as it says in the front there as on as on the toolkit as well. And information about what it contains stuck in there with a bit of tape so so it's obviously off the market it's not original but that looks like a quality battery at least by all intents and purposes so um, I'll probably chuck a link down below for these um, if you're interested in these things I think this came as a, as a set all together right so if you're interested in these then check the links out down below for these as well and um, watch out for the video coming up where I actually replace the screen and the battery on this iPhone 6S, which I've had sitting here now for about a month, waiting for it to be done, because I'm waiting for the parts to turn up. So I'll at least get that done now. Watch out for that video, stick around, and um, make sure you subscribe to see it. So thanks for watching, check out links down below for anything, also my tools and my equipment I have here for doing my electronics repairs work. I've got a big listing down there now in my description, so if there's anything you want to check out, review videos, purchase links, that kind of thing, they're now down in the description. For the major items, um, lots of things aren't in there, but there's, there's, there's only so much I can fit in the YouTube description before I start saying no. And um, thanks for watching, don't forget to give a thumbs up, quite important. and. Click the bell icon if you're not already subscribed and that sort of stuff and um, share the video if you think people want to see it and all the usual stuff I'd say just about every video make sure you do it because it does help and um, I'll see you in the next one catch you later bye